Hello, welcome to GDB Watchpoints, where we're looking at little GDB tips and tricks that can make your debugging life better. Uh, today we're going to look at catch points, really nice little GDB feature that lets you intercept certain interesting things that your program might do. As always with GDB, the documentation actually is pretty good. Um, it does suffer on discoverability, which is what this uh, series of, of, of screencasts is all about. So catch catch interesting things your program might do, most notably throwing or catching of C++ exceptions. I want to stop whenever a C++ exception is thrown or a particular C++ exception match, matching a red X, red X. Bunch of things for specific to uh, ADA around asserts and things um, and also uh, uh, signals which we'll get to uh, and syscalls as well. Um, so you can intercept certain syscalls. So let's just see what that looks like. Here is uh, almost standard hello world, except I put two printfs in here because I want to have two syscalls that we can intercept. So obviously printf will result in a write uh, system call. So let's compile that as normal. Let's run it in GDB, uh, start. So now I'm going to set a catch point. Now catch points are like breakpoints or watch points. You can do most of, or all of the things you can do with catch points. You can, with breakpoints and watch points, you can do with catch points. So I'm going to catch the syscall right, okay? Continue, so that's catch point number two. So continue, because these get named in the same namespace as breakpoints and watchpoints, by the way. So because I typed start, that puts a temporary breakpoint on main, hence this is catch point number two. Um, so if I continue my program, it's caught a call to write. Backtrace, sure enough, that's this thing from, from main. Let's have a look. Indeed, that's my first. So when I, now when I continue over that, it'll print it, and it should hit the second printf write. And indeed it does, it prints hello world and hits the second one. We can continue again and it'll um, now hit uh, right again and interesting. So actually we've got three right syscalls, not quite sure what that second one is, um, but uh, I, I guess it's outputting something, writing something to somewhere. Uh, now I can attach commands and conditions and everything else that I might be able to do with breakpoints. We'll get into more of that on the breakpoint session, but for now let's just issue a command on that uh, catch point. So commands to let me put a sequence of commands attached to this catch point, which will run when the catch point is triggered. I'm going to do a backtrace and I'm going to continue. That's it. So now when I run my program, I'm going to rerun it. Et voila. So let's have a look what's happened here. So Here's the first catch point, um, and I'm going to scroll up a bit. So here's the first catch point, and it prints hello world, and then it continues because that's what I told it to do. Second catch point is doing something not very much, not sure what that's doing. Perhaps it's just flushing the um, output buffer or something. And then another catch point, which is writing the second message, where it says that is all goodbye, and then we continue to the end. A um, bit unfortunate that now my program is gone, so I've got no state because that's what GDB does when your program exits. So maybe let's do another one. And I'm going to catch syscall exit. Um, and actually, there's two kinds of exit in Linux. So let's get both just to be confident. I'm going to run it again. OK, so it does the same thing. Now we've got our catch point four. Oh, it was indeed exit group. Now my program still exists, so I can debug it at will. Uh, you can also catch uh, signals. Now you might under ask what's the difference between a catch point for a, for a signal and normally what GDB does when you get a signal that goes back to the prompt and stops. Well the answer is just like I've done with the syscall catch points I can attach commands to on a receipt of those, uh, so those signals. Um, I can make them conditional and I can do all that good stuff. Thank you very much for joining. Join us next time when we'll look at regular expression breakpoints.